Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. My name is Mirza Tapiwala and today I'm going to recite a poem on Yom al -Qad. This day isn't only for brothers and sisters of mine in Palestine. This day is for anyone who fears the divine. It's for those who want to rise and shine, for those who don't fall for a dollar sign. I speak the truth, I speak it from my heart. Speaking of oppression, I don't know where to start. This protest represents the protests in Bahrain. This day is for the countries ruled by the insane. This day is for the victims of terrorism in Syria. This day is for the starving children in Nigeria. This day is for the butchered bodies in Pakistan. This day is for those slain by the Ku Klux Klan. We're chilling in our houses watching football tackles while our brothers overseas are locked up in shackles. We eat and we eat till our desires overload, ignoring the children starving on the road. We tweet and we post and we talk and we text, neglecting the thousands who are perplexed. Our ears are deafened by Akon and Drake. Why can't we listen to those whose lives are at stake? What about the oppressed, to be quite frank? What about those in the West Bank? What about those shot to point blank? What about those blasted by a tank? What about those hands locked up in chains? What about dusty skeletal remains? What about nasty demolition cranes? What about illegal settlement campaigns? Those campaigns based on illegality, those demolitions done with immorality, missiles fired without ira without rationality, those excavations done with brutality, done with an inhumane mentality, military operations continue the fatality, defying all constitutionality. In the flash of a lightning, bombs hit the ground. Some victims are buried while some are found. In a world of guided missiles, in a world of misguided men, in a world where blood is cheaper than the ink of my pen. Zionism continues without regulations. Palestinians are trinized without limitations. Exploiting the land for future generation, continuing barbarism without investigation. Despite 65 resolutions by the United Nations, Israel continues its colonization. This day is for God-fearing, freedom-loving men. This day is for the followers of him who must appear again. Salawat.